Hey there guys, thank you for joining me again for another video. I hope you are all well. Um, before I dive into which I think is the best of the five main entries of Street Fighter, please uh, consider subscribing. I'm marching on towards a thousand subscribers and as soon as I get there I'll be doing some meaty giveaways and I want each and every one of you guys that like my videos, watch my videos and subscribe to me to be a part of that and be in for a chance to win. Of course, after I've reached a thousand, I'll do regular giveaways. I'm not just going to do the one. But anyway, guys, let's dive straight into what I think is the definitive list, in my opinion, for Street Fighters 1 to 5. At number 5, I have had to play Street Fighter, the original game, in its place. Now, I appreciate everything that this game did. It started off the whole Street Fighter saga, as it will, but let's be honest, you got you got to knock nostalgia on the head and just realise that it's pretty wank now, especially in comparison to its sequel and sequels. Um, Street Fighter is a pretty good game where in the arcades I believe you could only play as Ryu and then a second player could come along and be Ken. However, in the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection you can choose to be either Ryu or Ken. I mean, it's worth playing just to, just to experience it and of course if you're an achievement or trophy hunter there's achievements and trophies for beating the game on your console of choice. But apart from that Number five is where I'm going to place it. At number four, it is Street Fighter 4. That's a weird coincidence. But anyway, Street Fighter 4 is by no means a bad game. It is a, it's a very good fighting game. It was excellent on the 360, and I personally love the 3DS version. The 3D aspect with Street Fighter works really, really well. Especially if you get the, I think it's the Ultimate Ultra Street Fighter 4, blah, 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 blah. There's so many different versions, but if you get the highest one, you get a shitload of characters, stages, costumes, and, and a whole load of content. It's a really good fighting game, and it goes on offer quite a lot on the Xbox and PlayStation stores, and is still well worth picking up, as all the mechanics are great, it still looks visually stunning, and I enjoy playing it from time to time. At number three is Street Fighter V. Now, I did not jump onto this as soon as it was released. I waited for a while because, as I believe, it was very bare bones when it was originally released. So I kind of waited and then I picked up... I got it for free, actually, on the PlayStation Network. And then the like the, the massive upgrade that gives you everything went on offer. So I picked that up and then I started giving it a whirl. And it's a, a, it builds upon Street Fighter 4 in terms of visuals and gameplay. However, the main menu is in my opinion, a little bit of a, a cluster fudge, and the online is just wank. The servers are terrible, it just does not work. Most of the time, you end up losing to someone because of lag, because our characters are teleporting all over the shop. However, there's a decent amount of arcade story, in, in little still cutscenes similar to Street Fighter 4, and it does play very, very well, and it's the best Street Fighter has ever looked. It's just unfortunate that the online is such ass. But the number three spot is where I've placed it. I wanted to place this one at number one, but because of the whole letdown of the multiplayer, I just can't give it that slot. <laughs> Taking the number two spot is Street Fighter 2. Now there's a reason why Street Fighter 2 on this SNES is Capcom's best selling game ever. It was just a fighting game and still is a fighting game that just works. The mechanics are great, the controls are great, the combos are really cool. There's masses amount of challenge from the AI when you're going through arcade mode. And there's just, well, so many different matchups. When it was originally released, it was the first fighting game to offer you up to eight players with different skill sets, move sets, and abilities. And 
obviously all the different versions and revisions of it has just improved upon it and it's set pretty much set the foundation for fighting games. However, it has aged a little bit, so it's it's not perfect. There is no perfect game and no perfect fighting game, but Street Fighter 2 still remains one of my favorite Street Fighters and one of my favorite fighting games. And taking the number one spot is, of course, Street Fighter 3. Now, I didn't play Street Fighter 3 back in the day. I only first played it when it became available on the 30th anniversary collection that came out not so long ago. And I love it. From the animations, to the characters, to the fighting, the mechanics, it just seems like it's everything that worked with Street Fighter 2 just turned up to 11 and just done brilliantly with Street Fighter 3. Of course, there are three separate variations, and it doesn't matter which one you really pick. Street Fighter 3, in my opinion, is the best of the original five. I mean, I know it's probably a controversial opinion, but it's mine. If you guys agree, let me know. If you disagree, please tell me why. I'd love to hear what you guys think. But Street Fighter 3 just, just ticks all the boxes. It has amazing characters, combos, the moves they pull off are so unique and different from all the characters that came before them. Of course, there are the usual characters, you know, carried on over, Chun-Li, Ryu, Ken, but yeah, Street Fighter 3 just, it just has something, and I love it, and well, I, it doesn't get talked about enough, to be honest. I know it came out at a very weird time, and there's there, there are some channels on YouTube that explain the Street Fighter history absolutely amazingly, and they're worth looking... Well, they're all worth looking at, really. But anyway, guys, that is my list. That's my... That's my opinion. That's what I think. I mean, I can, I can feel some hate for some of the, the placements, but hey... This is what it's all about. Difference of opinions, different thoughts. Please let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you haven't, please consider liking the video, consider subscribing for those upcoming giveaways, and you can catch me over on Twitch every Wednesday night and Friday night. And yeah, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, take it easy.